The time of the year when American dreams are fulfilled, college graduation. Almost every commencement has the story of perseverance and hardship, a graduate who inspired others by prevailing against long odds. But at Harvard today, a story unlike any other, even in the long history of that storied institution. Tonight, Katie Couric and the degree of difficulty for Brooke Ellison. It was early September 1990. Brooke McKenzie Ellison was walking home from her first day of seventh grade on Long Island, New York, when she was struck by a car. She was 11 years old. It was a devastating accident. Brooke suffered a spinal cord injury that left her paralyzed from the neck down, a quadriplegic. Ed and I both had to learn all of Brooke's care before they would even release her from rehabilitation. She is on life support and she cannot initiate breaths on her own. I still had my life, I still had the ability to love, I still had the, the cognitive ability to recognize people and, and be the same person I was. Jean and I made a commitment that if it was at all possible that she was going to go back into school, be with her class, graduate with her class. Didn't really know that it was going to require that Jean go back to school with her. You know, she'd been going back since the eighth grade. She went back in the eighth grade, ninth grade, right through high school. And no one counted on her getting into Harvard. In fact, Harvard really jumped through hoops to figure out a way to accommodate you. And that must have been very flattering. I was so flattered and so stunned that they would really go to the lengths that they had gone to in order to get me here. In fact, not only was Harvard extremely generous with financial aid, it also provided a van to shuttle Brooke to classes, concerts, and campus events. Harvard even renovated a dorm room to accommodate all her medical and physical needs, including space for Jean. Together, they went to classes, the library, football games, and the campus pub. The two of them together, I mean, Brooke accomplishing what she's accomplished, and Jean's allowing her and helping her to, to do that. It's such a beautiful thing to watch. If the Ellisons have supplied the heart, technology yeah. has opened the doors. 617, close friend. It blows my mind. You can command your computer with your voice yes. to perform certain tasks. Yes, you have right. a, is this right, a, a keyboard yeah, that fits I, in your palette? Yes. I can't believe yeah, that. No, that is I was pretty so astonished wild. myself when I heard of the technology. Yeah, it's a, it's called a tongue touch keypad, and it sits on the roof of my mouth like a like a retainer, and it works the the chair and uh, the mouse on the computer, and it can uh, turn on the television and lights and telephone. Brooke had the independence and determination to graduate from Harvard in four years, majoring in cognitive neuroscience with an A-minus average. Her thesis, The Element of Hope in Resilient Adolescence, earned her a summa cum laude, the highest honor possible. She was also one of four students selected to speak yesterday at Harvard's class day. Both my mother and I have learned so much from all of you. What we hope you can learn from us and from each other is to take no one in your life for granted and delight in the moments you spend together. That's Nightly News for Thursday. I'm Tom Brokaw. I'll see you back here tomorrow night.